Hello everyone and welcome to episode 90 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. I got seven questions today, which is a nice turnout, three of which are from EK Starlord because he is awesome and decided that he's going to give me three questions to make the video longer. So thank you for that, EK. So let's get started with EK Starlord and he says, ASA, do you think the Kenobi show should have been a movie or are you fine with it being a TV show? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. So on this Honestly, the biggest reason why I think it would have been better to be a movie was if it had a higher budget because then it could have probably looked better. My biggest complaint with Kenobi was it was just absolutely ugly. I did not like the way the Grand Inquisitor looked or like the Fifth Brother for a prime example or like the, the biggest problem was like the battle with Vader and Obi-Wan on a dark rock planet. Boo, that's boring. If it was a movie and it had a higher budget, they probably could have made it look a lot prettier. Also, the show's story was kind of stupid and so. I don't really know what would have made it better if it was a movie or what. I just wish it wasn't ugly. Because it is very ugly. It's called the Ugly Barnacle. Once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. Next question is also from EK Starlord. I'm just going to answer all three of his questions right away. So he says, ASA, have you seen Avatar The Way of the Water? If so, what did you think of it? And if you did, please no spoilers because I haven't seen it yet. And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. Don't worry, I can't spoil it because I haven't seen it either. I haven't even seen the first Avatar movie, so I'm just like, whatever. I've never been really interested in giving it a try. As of right now, I haven't seen it and I don't plan to. And the last question from EK is, ASA, what is your thoughts on James Gunn's DCU announcement and will you be watching these movies and shows and then a whole bunch of potatoes. I really do like James Gunn. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Now of course that's Marvel. Provided that he can make good characters and everything in the DC universe with the movies and shows. I think that I'll check them out just because it's like hey more content. You know I love comic books. I'm not just a Marvel fan. I also do like DC. So I'm like hey more superheroes. So I'll give some of them a try in the beginning and then if they're good great I'll keep watching if they're bad I'll probably just stop you know next question is from Nate Mr. Blue and he says ASA have you bought any new Lego sets lately and then a bunch of potatoes thank you for the potatoes so not counting pre-orders the most recent sets I bought was back in March I bought these two beautiful battle packs and now I am a proud owner of one of every single battle pack ever made so that's very epic and then I also of course bought all three of the new helmet sets that being the Captain Rex Commander Cody and Bausch Leia. So those are beautiful helmet sets, by the way. And if you don't have them, I would highly suggest getting all three. You might want to wait a while for them to like lower in price if you don't want to spend full price on them, but they are absolutely gorgeous and I love them. And then I don't know if pre-orders count just because like technically I don't own the set yet, but I'll be charged in the future for them. So it's like I'm guaranteed to get them just not until they come out. But I did pre-order the Super Star Destroyer micro scale set and then the Pirate Snub Fighter, the Spider Tank and the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter Microfighter. Yes, the overpriced Microfighter with the $6 Grogu minifigure. Absolutely ridiculous. For some reason, I'm paying full price for that set just so I can get it right away. I'm probably an idiot, but hey. Those are the only Lego sets that I bought recently and then the pre-orders. So yeah, but looking forward to getting those sets. And then believe it or not, some of those sets don't come out until August. So there's actually going to be more sets coming out before those pre-orders. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know why the May sets other than the Star Destroyer are not available for pre-order but the August ones are. I couldn't tell you why but I'm getting a lot of Lego this year at least Lego Star Wars so that's very exciting. Next question is from Plurpus ASA what do you think about the new Lego Darksaber? Honestly I don't like to complain about Lego Star Wars just because I feel like it's kind of petty and like pathetic and all that stuff but I usually just kind of keep quiet about that stuff but I'm gonna kind of complain about the Darksaber here because it is absolutely just such a disappointment. If the Darksaber would have at least had like white printing on it it might might have been a little bit better but the fact that it also has a dumb lightsaber hilt that is used in every single lego star wars set for lightsabers just makes me so so sad it could have been so much better now the one thing i will give lego credit for is it's a slight upgrade it's definitely the step in the right direction it's going to take a lot more than that to please me i would love it to have a special lightsaber hilt and white printing and then it would just be so amazing i don't know why lego couldn't have done that i don't know if that's impossible or 
if they're just lazy or what. I really, really hope that they can improve on it again in the future and then possibly make it really good. I have a tiny bit of hope that they will because they finally did something different instead of just a black rod, right? But I'm just, I'm honestly kind of disappointed. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? Next question is also from Plorpus ASA. What is your favorite kind of bean? I'm not really a fan of beans. I've never really liked beans. I've always thought that they were kind of nasty and just like the texture is gross and everything. But I do like green beans. I guess that counts. But I don't want to eat my green beans, daddy. Ooh. And our last question is from TG Collects, and he says, ASA, what clone battle pack would you like to see? Personally, I would like to see a Coruscant Guard or Wolf Pack. As always, bunch of potatoes. Yes, thank you for the potatoes. You know what? I'm actually going to like totally agree with you. Coruscant Guards would be like super cool. They're like super, super valuable and rare now and like way too expensive. So it'd be nice to get some new Coruscant Guards just to have some. So I'm like, I'm totally going to disagree with you on that one. Coruscant Guards would be amazing. Boo up. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for the questions. I greatly appreciate it. If you have more questions or if you have a question you didn't ask, go ahead and leave it down below in the comments. I'll pin my favorite to the top so you can go first. Leave a like while you're down there. It helps out a lot. Thank you all very much for the support. I'm just absolutely amazed that ASA is now 10 episodes away from 100. That's crazy to me. So thank you for the support. You know, as long as I always get one question, I'll have a reason to make ASA. So I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.